Welcome back to the channel, everybody! Today we're in space, again, where we left off. We're looking for uranium, but it's been a, uh, it's been a very sad journey thus far. Um, kind of got into a long bout of me just hopping from asteroid to asteroid, so, in our last episode. So we'll, um, we'll probably just reconnect with you guys here as soon as I have the uranium, because it's not a glamorous thing, searching asteroids, so I will be back in a moment. Okay, I lied. I forgot we are, um, basically out of fuel, so we really need to be heading towards our base. So we'll be doing that and kind of touching on, uh, asteroids here and there as we, uh, as we get there. Actually, I lied again. <laughs> we are gonna beeline it straight for the base, and I will reconnect with you when we get there. Okay, uh, we are coming in, but we are coming in hot. Um, oh, nice. Looks like we're gonna coast up and over, hopefully, find our base somewhere. I believe it's in one of these, one of these holes somewhere. There it is. So stealthy, even I couldn't find it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, now we'll get our hydrogen tanks. Nope, hydro. These four and stockpile them. Cool, I added it to my board now so we can stockpile. Oh, is it draining? Nope. But yeah, we can stockpile and unstockpile at will. Oh. You know what I just realized? I realized that the... My refinery probably got... Greedy on my stuff. What'd it steal? Everything. Cool! We could make a secondary port that's just for refueling. However, that's too much work and I'm lazy. <laughs> Actually, that might be necessary. Okay, we're gonna do cargo containers here and or here. Nope, nope. Okay. So got a little bit of platinum, a little bit of cobalt, but that's okay. Having some platinum on this base will be good in case we do get blown back to this point because then we can build functional ships out here. All right, so I'm thinking because that part of space over there where we were searching, where were we searching? Did I mark it? There's so many points. I think it was up there, yeah. Because up there was super devoid of uh, the good stuff, we are gonna head over this way after I fix that GPS point. <laughs> uh, we don't need the orbit, we're just gonna call it Echo Base. And kind of put Typhoon maybe. Just, just so I vaguely can keep track of where it, it's located and all that good stuff. And we'll do a nice fluorescent pink. Easy to find. Okay. Now, once more to the asteroids. Again, this is probably where I will cut it. <laughs> we will meet you back when I find uranium. Got some Ember stuff on the radar. I'm off their radar. They shouldn't be able to see me. Or at least my... That's off. And my antenna's off, so we should be fine. 
Unless I just flashed both on to let them know I'm here. <laughs> In either case, we should be good. Oh, and an assert. Can't catch a break out here. Ooh, a cow drill. <laughs> All right, looks like we've lost those two. They're going farther away, and we're going farther away from them. It's like an orbital laser. Cut a swath out of this asteroid. Very cool. But did it deposit any uranium while we were at it? Appears not. It's an unknown signal down there that's pirate in origin. Which I think that usually means it's a uh, one of those abandoned pirate outposts, but not quite equipped to uh to handle that in this guy plus we don't want to lose our ship our ship's kind of our life out here in the <laughs> in the cold dark reaches of space magnesium should we go into the space hole absolutely man if i had found this asteroid we would have just set up shop in this Friggin' door on each side, and you got yourself a bona fide base. Especially if I can find the uranium that's definitely on this asteroid. Right? Right, space engineers? You put uranium on this asteroid for me. Got a small fleet of military ships over there. Still that unknown signal mocking me. Nickel. nickel and carbon. I actually haven't seen nickel in a minute, so it's kind of nice to see. Like an old friend. We'll grab some. And I'm pretty sure I've been to that asteroid straight ahead, so not really looking to uh, go all the way there. Where you going, little guy? Far away. Oh, forgot to grab the stuff inside first. Sad day. It's actually because it had thrusters on it. Oh. Well, yeah, we're gonna leave that. Oh, poop. I don't remember where my ship is. So we came from there, heading towards this one. Oof, those guys are getting close. We're looking for things that are moving. There you are. So that's my favorite pro strategy, is if you ever lose your ship, Kind of just turn off your dampeners and just coast and look for things that are moving faster than others. If you think you're in the same vicinity. If not, then it doesn't really work. But as the light flickers on different objects, you'll kind of get a different perspective on them. So there are ways to find ships otherwise, you know, using spectator cam and whatnot. But this is kind of the most uh, easiest and le least cheaty way to do it. Magnesium and gold kind of insane how many asteroids we've been to and just nothing I can't remember where I've come from now oh I came from yeah that one down there so down to this one next this is really shiny is this another asteroid it is big ice block. Is this part of it, too? 
It is. Wow. Well. We have to mark this just to... Just to say we were here. Just realized we've collected enough... Uh, enough parts, probably, to build small... More generators. Nice. Since we're starting to run out of ice over around here. Let's see if we can't get or not ice, but hydrogen. And now we're making ice or hydrogen twice as fast. Which isn't much, to be fair. We were not making hardly any to begin with, so. That asteroid down there has got a really dark spot, which makes me think uranium, but also I'm not going to get my hopes up because it has been a fruitless search around this <laughs> this planet. <laughs> so there's some iron down there. Guess we could go check out that outpost. Salvage doesn't really scream having uranium to me, but... I'm desperate enough to give it a whirl. Looks kind of cool. Let's take a peek inside. Well, some basic refineries. Batteries. Nice hydrogen tank. And a turret, of course. Full assembler. <laughs> they do have some uranium. I don't think it's quite time for piracy yet. But man, <laughs> it would be so much easier if this would just work. What do you do? Nothing. Cool. Pretty basic. Grinder pit even. Cool. Yeah, I've already got plenty of hostile factions out here these days, so if I can keep the civil, which is just like the civilian stuff, if I can keep them friendly with me, I think that's that's worth it. So if, even if we did turn to a life of piracy, it would be against fellow pirates. <laughs> oh, oh, darker patch, please. Nope, don't need an enemy spawn. Carbon? Really? Ugh. My hopes get up and then they are dashed. Ah. There's a trade station over there. I hate that everything spawns after I'm running by it, but at least, uh, at least it is spawning. So much iron I'm finding, which is, you know, nice to have, but I've got plenty. I need uranium. I ought to go to that station. got a safe zone which is nice 
makes me think I'm probably safe to dock and won't have a get into a shooting war with the station. <laughs> a one-sided one since I have no guns on this guy. Vending machines. Elite tools, that's cool. I think it's just all items. One contract station and three store stations. You gotta get lucky. Someone's selling uranium. Not this one. What are you buying? Buying hydrogen. I'm gonna give them all my oxygen. Oh, no, no, no. It's the other way. This is buying and then this is what I'm selling. They're selling uranium, so we're good. Except for I don't have that much. <laughs> How much is one? Yeah. Well, let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get up to with these guys. Oh, you guys aren't buying or selling any. Liars! Why is the contracts access denied? Can we go less than one? <laughs> Zero point one? Nope. Hmm. Solar charging? That's cool. These are upgrades for my suit. So I can overcome jetpack inhibitors, drill inhibitors, etc, etc. Why is this empty? I can sell my ship as scrap. I'm not going to, but that's a good, interesting option you got there. Yeah, this ship has a lot of options for us to get money and to buy uranium. So, I say let's mark this and go build like a just something to sell I'm gonna temporarily activate access all terminals just so I can see what's in why this thing is being funky okay yeah there's no terminals anyway so we'll turn that off and okay I'm having a mental picture here some sort of hauling ship designed to haul other ships and it has a jump drive and we just jump it to chrono station here and sell them for money i just don't know what the exchange rate is it said it would buy our current ship for like seven hundred fifty thousand or something so quite a bit but i don't know if that is including the value of my cargo containers which are numerous in my mind, at least, because I don't want to sell my cargo stuff. But if it's just the value of the ship, yeah, I could 
set up a ship printer and print a couple of these and just take them over and sell them. But I just don't know. Let's uh, let's tentatively start doing that here. So I'm going to take us back to our station. Uh, I believe it's that one there. Echo station, maybe? Nope, that's... Oh yeah, the pink one. That's right, Echo Base. So we're going to go back there. We're going to refuel. And then I'm going to build just like a basic um a carrying ship to carry other ships probably large grid though actually if we want to do a jump drive i don't know we'll see how i'm feeling when i get there might have been going a little too fast but i think we've got the engine power to slow us down here and we're back second time we've returned in this uh in this series or in this episode and i am actually going to let the ore Go to the refinery here. We are going to, yep, let's crank out some more steel plates, some construction components, some motors, small steel tubes, and then a small or a jump drive. Oh, is there not a small jump drive? I could have sworn there was. Attach it that way, you know? That way we can at least share the power. So I am thinking probably just like a flat hauler style kind of ship. And I kind of want to put a lot of spots for multiple vehicle or multiple ships. So we can kind of maximize our carrying space. Yep, now that I've committed to large grid, we are going to need a lot more steel plates. So let me hit up the production queue and uh, light armor block. I'm going to do 200 to start, I guess. All right, let's kind of just start with that here. It will go down low. So we're just going to build a hole there. Yeah, something like that, just to make it not totally square. Did I put modules on the refinery? Uh, no, probably not. 
Yeah, that thing is uh, one with the wall. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Either way, let's get the uh, that jump drive queued. That's going to be the expensive one. Gold, silver, cobalt, all the good stuff. We're going to need a actually pretty robust power generation on this guy if we're going to jump drive it. Which apparently we've decided we are. Oh, you know what? I probably haven't uh, unlocked the jump drive yet. Jump drive! We gotta build a gravity generator. Ooh. We had a nickel. We are. We'll do the nickel next then. Oh no, we got plenty of nickel. Silicon? Ooh, it is silicon. We don't have any silicon. Okay. We're almost out of ice, too. This guy's over half full. And chugging along. Well, let's go find some silicon. That's that one there. Okay. That's close enough. Gonna make me dig for it, really? I am digging for it. It should be close. Oh, no. We're getting it right off the bat. Sweet. Okay. That should be enough. And back to the base. There we go. Now we're building all those things. Do I need more gold? More silver? More silver. Okay, well, I can't seem to uh, to build my jump drive. Uh, I tried triggering it using the uh, building a gravity generator, and it wouldn't work. So I assume that's the sort of thing that a re a reload will fix. But this has kind of been a long episode for filming wise. I'm pretty sure it'll get cut down into something more uh, reasonable, but. Either way, I'm going to call it for today here. Um, I do like this kind of ship we're building. Uh, I'm picturing connectors up here. Actually, why picture? <laughs> uh, we'll put connectors on these spots. Or the nice thing about connectors is we can repurpose them later. So maybe we'll want to make this like a artillery deck or something. We can cut out the connectors and put in uh, turrets. Um, we'll put, you know, thrusters on this. Basically, it's just a glorified tugboat. And it's going to have a jump drive, and it'll transport our ships to that station um, that we found. Yeah, Chrono Station up there. So we can sell them to buy uranium, because apparently I can't find uranium to save my life. Um, that being said, thank you guys so much for watching here today. Um... We have a goal for our next episode, but if you have any suggestions or comments, do feel free to leave them in the uh, comment section below. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.